Hi everyone, good morning. So a while ago I talked about the potential for the hunter to solo farm blood vines inside Solgruoban. The first thing I did when, once the raid was opened up was, well I went to bed because you couldn't get in during the night, but the morning after I went inside I farmed the blood scythe and I'll make a separate video on how you're gonna get the blood scythe uh, and then I started farming the herbs on my hunter and things went really well. So as you can see right here I am in Ogremar. This is the end of the technically I suppose the second day of the raid and I'm going to sell some of my blood vines. Now the price of course fluctuates like crazy so it's hard to say how much you can earn with this. I earned 910 gold the first day and I spent maybe five six hours no maybe f let's say four four hours probably was what i spent actually farming the herbs and i made 16 blood vine now we're quickly gonna pause and you can get purple lotus um golden sand sam whatever sunflower sun grass sun grass uh, mountain silver sage and dream foil inside that raid uh, i think there were some of those that i had since before but if we just assume that all of the flowers besides the ghost mushrooms are gathered from soul group and we say that I get on average two flowers per um, per herb then we are looking at a total of 130 flowers excluding the blood vines and let's say that I pick those from 65 herbs then we're looking at 16 through 65 and we see that there seems to be a 25% chance to get the blood vine per picked herb of course the blood vine you only get one blood vine whenever you get one but they're still worth very much so this mage here was interested in purchasing nine of them i'm just gonna scroll ahead a bit to where i actually buy it so i take nine of them and we put it in there and we agreed on 60 gold per flower so that's half more than half an epic mount in in quickly so you can really make a lot of gold doing this so either way, we are back to the run. Um, as, as I just show you, the price for them when I sold them was 60 gold. And that fluctuates like crazy. Um, it was up to 90 gold. It was down to 54. Who knows what it's today? Who knows what it's going to be in a week? What remains to be true is that every caster needs the Bloodvine set. So maybe these are going to stabilize it. 40 50 gold per that seems not impossible i'd say between 30 to 50 gold and as you could see when we did some quick math uh, they seem to have about a 25 percent drop rate so on average you should be getting two to three per soul group run and one run when you're good at it takes maybe 15 minutes and you can get that down to less but we're gonna go with 15 minutes and so let's say an average of 2.5 um, blood vines per run, 4 runs per hour, that should be... Oh no, not math. Can that be right? 4 times 2.5. No, 4... Maybe up to 10 blood vines per hour, and even if they cost only 30 gold, you're still looking at 300 gold per run. So, uh, or per hour, I mean, so that's a crazy amount of gold. Now, just one more thing before I actually start discussing what's happening in this run and guide you through it, is that there are so many rich Thorium lanes that I'm just running past. So, you should, if you have mining as well as herbalism, you can get way more gold out of this. Maybe not twice as much, but maybe 40% more, so... Maybe you should even level up mining. Now, there's also gonna be so much that I'm not saying. For example... There are basic, I think there's something like eight different patrols in this area here, and I'm just not gonna cover all of them. So, what I'd recommend is that when you start doing this yourself, just find a safe spot and just see how everything walks around here so you get an understanding of how you need to run. We're also gonna go through which talents I'm using at the end of the video, and like I said earlier, you don't need any gear whatsoever. I think I said it at least. You could basically do this naked. Uh, as for your pets, I would very strongly recommend that you get a son of a car and that you bring food for your son of a car. Now, my son of a car loves homemade cherry pies, which you can buy down in Grum Gol. Uh, the, the pet is very useful, partly because you can get it inside an instance, 
or the raid, and partly because uh, it has a ranged pull, and that is going to be very helpful. But with all this said, I'm actually going to guide you through a run and talk about everything that I'm doing. Okay, so first of all, you need to be in a raid group to enter, and what you can do is just have invite your all to the same raid, go uh, re convert that to a raid group, invite your all to your same party, convert it to a raid group, and then just log out on your alt. Uh, now, when it comes to being saved to this instance, even if you've cleared it, killed all the bosses, you can still reset the instance and respawn the herbs and the mining nodes. So, the, uh, and, and all the trash, so you can still farm crocolisks even if you're saved. I'm 95% certain of that. And we've already missed some important things, so let's go back a little bit. As soon as you get inside, and this golden sounds on right here, all classes can pick this one. You want to run straight towards this tree and just hug the left side of it. Something like this. And now you have a number of options. You should check for a flower there, and now you see that it's completely impossible to see that flower. So what you need to do is ho hover, over, hover over with your mouse and try and find it. Uh, and another thing you can do is use eagle eye to... To just, ins you know, very intensely study the area to actually find it. Because later on, when you need to kite mobs away with your pet, and then you're under time pressure, pick the herb. If you don't know exactly where it is, you're not going to be able to find it. So that's one important thing. Another nice thing about, or a nice thing about this herb, is that everyone can get it. Because you can line of sight the two mobs with this hut. So I'm just going to make sure to find it. And it is right there, and then we pick it. Now, as for that herb, and there are a whole number of flower spawns that I'm not going to show in this run because there were no herbs there. Uh, I might make a second video where I show more uh, herb spots and how to get to them and pick the flower. Either way, the way you get to that one, and it's just to the right of that pillar, is by summoning your wind serpent and use Eyes of the Beast. And then you run up here to the left, and your pet has very inconsistent aggro radius, so... Most of the time, it won't. if you would have ran here, you would have pulled. Your pet won't pull. And then we want to use Lightning Breath to pull, and as good as it is, Lightning Breath is a ranged pull. Now another weird thing, if you jump over objects like this, um, Trash has a tendency to just stand still for a second and stare at you. And even if you're just jumping while they're in your butt and, and punching you, uh, they have a tendency to just stop hitting and standing still. That's something useful to know. And now we're gonna run away with them. Now, exactly how long you wanna run is hard to answer. I think I run way too long, like now would have been sufficient to end this. And you also wanna make sure to just cancel your Eyes of the Beast before your pet is close to death. Because when you cancel it this far away, your pet's just gonna get dismissed due to the distance. And if it's not dead, it doesn't lose happiness. And if it loses happiness, it might run away. So that sucks. There is that herb. And I'm actually gonna show you a little portion of another clip that can affect what you're gonna do here. And here we just feign death. Now in this clip, one thing you, you're gonna notice is that I eagle eye all over the place. And the reason for that is that I'm trying to scout where the herbs are. And as you can see, there is a mountain silver sage over there. I'm gonna... over by the panther temple there is us, usually a lot. There can be one there, one there, one there, one there, and two behind. And then you can have two there, and two there. There are a whole lot of herb spawns, but... Like, I think it's only 25% of them maybe that actually has a herb on your average run. Either way, there is a particular spot that I want to show you, so we're gonna skip ahead to that spot. Well, but that is just a perfect spot, because the herb you're looking for is like 5 yards away from that. Okay, so... Down there is our two packs, and here is a patrolling Gurubashi Berserker. You can find one herb there, and one herb there, and a rich thorium there, and on top of that, a jinxed hoodoo pile there. So, if you have one herb here, you probably want to take another route that I'm going to take in the clip I'm showing you. 
Anyway, we're gonna head back to the first clip again. Okay, so we just picked two herbs so far, we haven't gotten anything, and we're actually gonna get very unlucky this round. I don't think we get a single one, which can happen, but it's... I think this is the only run where I don't get a single blood vine. Now, to get further into the instance, what you do is run behind the huts, and this is something every class can do, and then just jump over there, or I don't. I think you can just walk, and then you go over to this spot here. And what you do now is jump down to the water and swim up there. This is the only way uh, I find that you can get into the instance without needing to feign death, and you're gonna have to get nibbled by a fish, but... It's not like you're gonna die from it. Okay, and now we, can we continue to make our distance, or may our... We continue to make our way inside the raid. Make sure to feed your pet so it doesn't run away. By the way, I'm gonna have a separate video where I show you how you can very easily tame a wind serpent. We're gonna quickly pause here. We have a dream foil right there, and if you're not exactly sure where you have it, eagle eye and then scout it so you know exactly where it is. That's gonna be important. Uh, we have a Guru Bashi Berserker, he's going to patrol on this way, but if you're standing here, you're gonna be safe from him. What we're gonna be doing now is, well, first of all, heal our pet fully, and then we're going to use Eyes of the Beast and run away with that pack. And the way I like to do it is to jump over the this rock here and then Lightning Breath the target in the middle. And as you can see, here is one, two, three, four patrols, and I think there's like a total of eight or something walking around. So you need to really study this area and learn some of the patrols and where eventual safe spots might be. And like I said earlier, your aggro range with your pets is very uh, inconsistent. I'm, I'm not the one pulling this pack, instead it's the mobs behind me that are Shane pulling. Now the problem with this run is that I get hexed, I think, yeah. So what you do when things just doesn't go your way uh, is what I, what I should have done is just feign death there. I go back a little yard for no reason. And then I just get back to the spot, rest your pet, feed it and go again. We're gonna fast forward a bit. It's the exactly same thing. And let's actually... At 45 I pull those. And then I just run. And we're gonna run... Um, on the outside of this panther temple and now you can also scout some herbs. We're gonna pick at least those two. That one is very tricky. Here you see another bunch of patrols, which you most of the time you can skip. Let's see, so we were at 45, now we are at uh, 20 seconds away. And I'm not sure, but I think it takes roughly the same, like the same time you run away with them, that's roughly the time it's gonna take for them to run back. But I think they might run slightly faster when they're on their way back, because they believe they are... I don't know, maybe they believe they're out of combat or something. Let's see, we start at 15 and we're gonna dismiss roughly, let's say, at 30. So we're looking at... Is that 45 seconds that I should have on me now? We're gonna go in and pick the Mountain Silver Sage. So there's actually some gold to be made just from the herb itself. It's just that it's so small compared to the Blood Vine. Even got three. Uh, shit. Uh, I started, let's see, at... Was it 30? Yeah, it was. So, I mean, I've had enough time now to pick it, and I could have feigned here, so... As you can see, 15 seconds or 20 seconds is enough. But I think it's gonna take them roughly 45 seconds to get back to me, or maybe 30, so... Now you know roughly how far you have to run. But you also need to consider that if you pull a Berserker, you need to have way more time as they run much quicker uh, than all other mobs. So, and there we can see they came back. So it seems like if you if you run away with them for 45 seconds, it takes them, let's say, roughly the same time getting back, just a few seconds faster, as they would have had rad, have had to run up to that hill again. Anyway, when you're gonna pick that one, what you wanna do is just run across, avoid any patrols, and make your way into this corner, get on top of the wall. And then we're going to pull that pack away with using my pet. And normally you would run, jump through here, and then jump down there, and lightning breath to the target that's closest to you, however they body pull. Like I said, it's very inconsistent, sometimes they do that, but I actually managed to save it despite being dazed. And what we're gonna do now is run around this panther temple, 
and make your way to the second ledge because the entire second ledge is a reset point. Mobs cannot reach you and if you manage to get there they will, will eventually reset. Unless they are hunters, in which case they can shoot at you from some places. Now there are two ways to, let's say, use this temple. You either go close to yourself and put your pet on stay and interrupt Eyes of the Beast. Or you put it far away from yourself and then jump down and cancel Eyes of the Beast. Now, if you put it far away from yourself, it's going to despawn. But what happens now is that it's gonna stay up there for maybe 5 seconds and then just randomly teleport to you. Like that. And now everyone's gonna come for the pet and they are actually gonna kill your pet. So you get a few more seconds but you're gonna pay for it by having to resurrect your pet later. As soon as you pick the flower, make your way to the wall and feign death. And we're just gonna skip ahead a bit. If you have a herb there, first of all you need to scout that because it's going to be real hard to find. So what you should do afterwards, you've scouted it, is you jump up here, summon your pet, and then you pull these mobs. Make sure to pull the one that's the closest to you because sometimes all of them are going to go after your pet except the one that decides to go for you instead and that's going to mess things up. Either way, I'm not having anything here, so I am going to run on the outside of the wall and jump down here. And this is the safe way to get to the temple. You can do this as any class, as you're not going to have to enter combat. Either way, we have something on the back. Now, like I said earlier, there can be a total of six, herb in the, six herbs in this place. There can be two in the back, one on each side, and one on each front side. One to the left and one to the right. There is also three Jinx Toto piles here. However, there are no um, rich Thorium Wains. What we're gonna do here is summon the pet, and then we aggro whoever we can reach, as it's only a 20 yard range on that one. We have something like 8 seconds before they reset, so we jump down here by some distance, make our way around the temple, and here you can either jump down roughly there, whenever they are close enough to you and then jump down and pick the herb and in which case your pet will probably despawn or you run all the way over to this side which will give you the most time to pick the herb but it will also teleport your pet to you meaning your pet will die and there is a risk of you dying because you have to feign death sadly still no blood vine what you're gonna do once this is done is you're gonna run on top of the wall and you do that by jumping here uh, running across this hill, jumping over there. I pull them with your pet, you don't need to do that. You might aggro the one of the panthers, but you can just get up here quickly and feign death here. Okay, so what we're gonna do here is, first of all, you should scout that, because it's really hard to find, and that is exactly what I'm gonna do here. Because I can't seem to find it. I think it's somewhere like there. There is the one, which is very hard to see. So you need to know exactly where they are. And a good thing to, a good memory rule here is to stand on the um, clear dirt and hover with your mouse just in front of your feet towards that hut. That should help you find it. Anyway, I've just found it. I'm gonna rest my pet. And there is some world loot. Revive pet, give it food. And now I like to jump to this ledge. And the bamboo is, we can't run through it basically. Jump down here. And then we use a lightning breath on... You should really do it on the left and on the right. I only do it on the left. However, I get lucky with um, a body... No, with a chain pull. Sometimes these packs reset. It's very random. It's usually packs that are have more beasts in them that are at risk of doing this. It could also be that you get too much distance. And the way you fix this is partly by... Staying closer to them with your pets and by using Shane Lightning. I mean, Lightning Breath every now and then. Gonna speed ahead. Okay. And everything is going great except for that Berserker. And what I should have done about here is I should have... This is where I should have cancelled Eagle Eyes. Because what's gonna happen now is that I'm gonna get the Gurubashi Berserker as well. And as you can see inside the Panther... No, inside the Tiger Temple... There is a whole bunch of herbs. What's gonna happen now is I'm gonna get him as well. And he's really quick, so I'm essentially gonna create a very difficult situation for myself. 
However, because I cancel it quickly enough, it's not gonna die. And that is essentially what's gonna save me in this situation. And here you can see I struggled to find it. There it was. The Berserker is way too quick. And I think the Spider is pretty damn fast as well. But here the Berserker will hit me. And if he wouldn't have hit me, I would have probably been something like there before I would need to feign. However, now I need to feign right here and I am too close to the other mobs. Now, I'm just going to consider my options here for a while and I'm probably going to spend a minute on that. We played pretty efficiently so far and we've picked, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six herbs, I think. So on average, we should have gotten one and a half, one, between one and two. Um, what I'm gonna do and decide to do is summon my pet, and this is why you wanna keep your pet alive. And the pet is gonna aggro them. I'm gonna spam lightning breath as soon as my pet spawns, and then I'm just gonna run away. Because I still have aspect of the Sheeta, I'm going to be quicker than they are. And it just works out. Pet dies, but I managed to survive. I'm gonna make my way to the second level of this temple. And luckily there's no Berserker and no stupid Panther patrols. There is, however, a invisible panther that seems to patrol somewhere around here. Sometimes I run into it by the bottom of the stairs. I have no idea where it comes from, or where it walks, or if it's here every time, but it can happen. But anyway, if, um, if I wouldn't have messed up and pulled a berserker, I would have been at least a minute faster there. And now we're gonna speed ahead as we make our way to the tiger temple. Now, there are, I think, a total of five or six flower spawns here. However, the ones closest to the boss are really, really difficult to get, and I would recommend not doing it. Also, there can be two spawns down here to the right of the temple. What you do to pick the right herbs inside the temple, you go down to the right ledge. To pick the left ones, you get onto the left ledge. The way you get onto that ledge is by jumping on top of that pottery and then the ledge. These small tiger cubs deal almost no damage, you don't have to worry about them, you don't have to kill them. Uh, you need, however, to pull them with your pet when you're going for the herb, as they will interrupt shit. Well, they will interrupt you when you're trying to pick it. Okay, so now we're going to pull that pack and we're gonna run far away. And with these packs, they have a tendency to reset once you leave the temple. So what you do is lightning breath the elite tigers, and make sure to stay sufficiently close. Like something like this, maybe a bit further away. That seems to keep you in combat. And now just run far away. And what I'm doing here is... There are two herbs and I'm actually gonna pick both. Normally I would recommend to not go for the second one. But it seems that if you pull them and you run all the way over to the entrance to the panther temple. That you have enough time to pick both herbs. Supposing you don't get a Gurubashi Berserker or uh, some of those Panthers or whatever. Panthers won't matter, but avoid those. And we're gonna interrupt our Eyes of the Beast here. That herb you can get, but it's difficult, so I decide just not to. The Dream Foil here is very easy. You also have a Jinx Toto Pile there. However, there is a herb up there, which I just decide to go for because I'm feeling brave. We're gonna reset very soon due to the mobs just being too far away. That is partly good, but it also means that they're gonna respawn some of them. And there we actually got a blood vine. Let's just go back a little bit to show that beautiful green thing. I was too quick there. And often, uh, obviously you wanna have auto loot on. So I can just loot it. There we go, and it's gonna be automatically pick up. I don't have to right click it. Uh, that is 60 gold right there. Made in 14 minutes, that is very, very good. However, we still have one more flower, so we're gonna grab for the, go for that one. When you notice that someone is gonna range it, shoot you, and you're gonna notice that because they're gonna be automatically targeted, remove uh, aspect of the tiger. Then we jump up on the wall and we feign death. For the final herb, we are going to... First of all, we're gonna scout around to see if there's one more. Let's see. There we go. There is sometimes a purple lotus by that hut, in which case you want to grab that one as well, but that black lotus, no, that purple lotus, sadly there doesn't seem to be any black lotuses in this raid. 
that purple lotus um, is the last one you can reliably get. There are some flowers over here, but they're very difficult and time consuming to get to, so it's better to just reset since you still aren't gonna get instance capped. Now the way we pull, the way we grab the herbs here, or the way I do it, is by jumping onto the hill behind it. Right there. So we jump to the left of the bamboo and then we wall jump up here. We're gonna get some hits, but it doesn't really matter. What you can do is pet pull those mobs away and then jump up here. Hmm, and then we're gonna search for the herb. Make sure where I know where it is. And when you're pulling, if it's... I can't even see the herb right now. I think it's somewhere there. Anyway... You need to pull roughly that, and there are two tiger cubs running around, that's one of them. Make sure to get it. Same with the tiger, you need to stay sufficiently close for them not to run away. You don't want to get the Gurubashi Berserker, and I got two even, and this is what's gonna kill me actually. However, because I am pretty much finished with the run and I'm actually gonna have time to pick up that herb, this isn't really a bad thing. Because it would take, to get back out, you would probably need to spend as long time, as much time as it would take to just run back in as a spirit. And I just managed to get this flower. And here I die, but then, anyway, this was a very sufficient, ex efficient actually run um, inside Sulgurub, picking the flowers. And what really takes a lot of the time is when you mess something up, because then you have to spend maybe two, three minutes just fixing that one annoying little thing that really isn't too difficult. Okay, I think I've gone over most of the important parts of this um, of this farm. We're gonna look at talents very shortly. And like I said before, there are a million things that I haven't mentioned that you're just gonna have to learn by yourself, because this video is still crazy long. Um, the... I think I've gotten as most four blood vines from a single run, which is really a lot of gold, and the worst run has only given me one. But it's still pretty fun. Uh, it's it's um, um, what's a good word? You get some variation in what you're doing, and like I said, mining is could really increase the gold you earn here. Anyway, we're gonna pop over to the talents now. Okay, so the required talents are none. Um, you don't really need any talents, however, this is the only thing I'm doing with my hunter, so I have decided to specialize fully in picking these flowers. And we're gonna maximize our survivability of our pet. We're gonna make it way easier to resurrect it. We're gonna give ourselves another minute with Eyes of the Beast. We're gonna make ourselves 6% excuse me, faster in pathfinding. And Bestial Swiftness, this one is really good. It might actually be essential for this run. Or you're gonna need something like Dash or whatever Swiftness on your pets. This is just so good and it really, really helps you out. Grab that one. Besides that, I don't think there's any really good thing here remaining. So we're gonna go into Marksmanship. And the only reason we do this is for Hawkeye. That's six extra yards. Um, you can use it in some situation where you, if you remember how we did at the Panther Temple where we jumped down to the second ledge, you can do that by yourself um, and not use the pets. And in that situation, Hawkeye can be useful. We're gonna go into survival and we're gonna go for deflection to get some more survivability. Wind clip to get some more survivability. Survivalist for survivability. Uh, Clever Traps is quite useful. You can use Ice Trap, Frost Trap, whatever it's called, the one that creates a big pool of ice, um, to buy yourself time, actually. Because they, even if they run through that after you've feigned death, uh, they're still gonna be slowed. So it's gonna be something that can help you a lot and save you a lot of time. So that's a good one. Improved feign death, it's literally gonna save your life many times. So that's just a great thing to get. We're gonna get Trap Mastery, it's also very useful, and right now it doesn't really matter what we take, we are actually gonna go for this instead, and maybe something like that. Uh, deterrence obviously helps a lot with survivability, and counterattack isn't too bad either. 
Either way, with all this said, there is actually one thing left to say, and you might notice that the graphics are way poorer in this footage, and the reason for that is that I've reduced my graphics down to the lowest possible, and what that will do is greatly reduce the ground clutter, making the herbs easier to see. But anyway, this has turned out to be a very long video. I'm going to consider make a second part where I show some other spawns that I haven't included in this video. Um, I'm also going to make a video both talking about how you can get the blood scythe and how you can tame a son of a car. But anyway, I hope you found this interesting and that you are excited to try this on your, yourself on a hunter and you really need to be a hunter to do this. This is a hunter only farm. Uh, there are like two herbs, a few herbs that you can get as a stealther, but it's just going to be way too difficult. So this is pretty much a hunter only thing. I'm also going to have some other videos uh, discussing Soul Group things, so make sure to subscribe to not miss that. Anyway, thanks so much for watching, like if you enjoyed, and like I said, subscribe for more. See ya!